Hello, welcome to Bear Talks with Janika. Thank you for tuning in and listening to what I have to say. So today we're going to be talking about forgiveness and how to forgive people who have wronged us. I always think about the story of Joseph, you know, how his siblings did him wrong, you know, and how they just thought that Joseph was going to do some type of revenge or they thought that he would hold a grudge against them. You know, a lot of times I have a lot of conflict and it's because I'm growing and I'm changing and you would think that people would be open to change and a lot of times it's not the case. Everybody doesn't want to grow just because you want to change your life and do the things that are best for you on your journey. And I'm starting to understand that, which I think I already knew this, but everybody's journey is not the same. Everybody's journey will not look the same. And everybody's growth is going to be different. You know, sometimes... I keep getting stuck in my mind that, okay, I'm at this age, certain things I should know better. I should know right and wrong from, right? And I would think that this person should know better because they're older. They should be a lot more mature than I am, but that's not always the case. You know, some people are just stagnant. I know I've been there until you can start to allow the Lord to renew your mind, getting new information. And also, I always say, staying in the Word of God, you know, allowing the Lord to really transform you and just really help you. But some people think in their minds, once they, once they get so much information and once they have so much book knowledge, you know, of the Bible, that... They don't need God. They think that God needs them, you know, and that's a really messed up place to be. Another thing that I want to talk about, I know this is a little bit off subject, just because people have Bible knowledge and book knowledge and intelligence, sometimes people, including myself, have made the mistake of putting people on a pedestal. Don't do that. Do not put anyone on a pedestal because anyone can fall short. You know, anybody can trip up. You know, don't put me on a pedestal. Don't look at others and put anybody else on a pedestal. Look to God. Look to God and God alone. You know, pray and seek the Lord and ask for wisdom. He said, if any of you lack wisdom, let them ask and I will give to them generously. And remember, when you start, you know, getting this wisdom, you're going to start facing different trials and tribulations and going through different experiences because God is trying to teach you and train you. You know, at first I'm like, "Woo, God, hold on. This don't feel good. You know, me going through different challenges in life. But. It's helping me to mature and to really open up my spiritual eyes and see things from God's perspective. And so I'm learning to really have patience and love people the way that the Lord God is calling, you know, me to love on people, you know, with his love, you know, and that takes a whole lot of patience, a whole lot of grace. You hear me? Say it again. <laughs> a whole lot of patience and a whole lot of grace. Because some people can be something else. You know? So, yeah, don't put people on the pedestal. You know, because anybody can mess up. And I know sometimes people, they deal with their own personal struggles. And that's between them and God. So they won't always share things with you 
So you might be looking at them as if they're perfect, but there's no one on this earth that is perfect. Only the Lord God is perfect, period. The only man that walked this earth was perfect was Jesus, period. So don't make the mistake of putting people on a pedestal just because they know the Bible, you know, and you can learn the Bible as well. The only thing you have to do is just invest, invest the time and study and seek and ask the Holy Spirit to teach you and help you and give you understanding. You know, the Lord wants you to seek him by reading his word, keeping his word, hidden deep in your heart so you don't sin against him. And that way you can have his commandments. You can treasure his commandments. Okay. Now, I keep, I'm going back to forgiveness. I don't want to say I always get into it with people, but I, I don't want to say always. Sometimes I have issues with people and people have issues with me. And it's because I have a strong, I believe, personality and I know who I am. And when you know who you are, sometimes people would challenge you, you know. And what I'm learning is with forgiving people who have wronged me is to be patient and to be kind. But sometimes you have to walk away. I'm Now, this is what I'm not saying. I'm not saying stay around somebody or I'm going to stay around someone and let them mistreat me or misuse me because I've been there, done that in the past. And so right now in this stage of my life, the level that the Lord has me on in maturity is that I can tell someone, you know, how they made me feel or what the situation is and how I meant for things to come across. And sometimes when people have done things that I didn't like that was offensive to me, I brought it to their attention and... Sometimes people apologize and sometimes people may not apologize. But what I've learned and still learning to do is give people back to the Lord. You know, give people back up to the Lord because I don't want to have anger and bitterness, you know, in me. My One of my prayers is search my heart, Lord. Excuse me, search my heart, Lord. Remove anything that is evil or wicked out of my mind, out of my thoughts, out of my heart. Renew my mind. Give me a steadfast spirit. You know, I, I, I want to be in right standings. Okay, period. I'm not trying to have anybody or anything hinder me from receiving my blessings from the Lord. So... Once you tell the person what the offense was and, you know, what happened, what they did, you know, sometimes, like I said, they might apologize, they might not apologize. But what I'm learning is, is that sometimes that relationship won't go back to how it used to be. In some cases, not all, but in some cases, sometimes that relationship won't go back to how it used to be. And... As I start to acknowledge the Lord, because I always think that things should work out a certain way that I think it should go right, but there is a way to seem right to a man, <laughs> you know, but it doesn't lead the way you want it to go. So I pulled up Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Now I should know this by heart word for word. And what this says is to trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on to your own understanding. And in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. And one thing I keep on doing is saying, Lord, well, they should be a lot further along than me. They've been in this Bible a lot longer than me. They're a lot older than me. They should know better, right? But guess what that's doing? Lean into my own understanding, right? I keep I keep leaning on to my own understanding. So I know the Lord is telling me 
let it go. Stop leaning on to your own understanding and acknowledge me. We got to let it go. You and I both have to let things go. Yes, they probably should be more mature in that area. But we don't know what other people's struggles are and what they struggle with. Just like people don't know all of my struggles. Yes, I do try to share and be transparent. But sometimes, like, just as hard as it is for me to be transparent. I don't know if you heard that. I said that kind of fast. <laughs> Just as hard as it is for me to get on here and be transparent, it, I'm sure, is very hard for some others to be transparent with you and I and say, or even humble themselves. It takes a lot out of a person for them to humble themselves and say, you know what? I was wrong. You know what? I shouldn't have did this. But what I'm learning is that I have to release people back to the Lord, give them back over to the Lord, and pray for those who despitefully use you. Pray for your enemies. I'm challenging myself to even do this because I'm just like, just gonna ready to wash my hands. But just imagine if God would have did that to you and I. If he would have really gave us what we deserve, we wouldn't even be able to be alive right now today. So practicing forgiveness is saying, you know what, Lord, I'm struggling in this area. Lord, help me. Show me how to forgive this person. Help me to let it go. You know, and God loves you and God loves them. And God wants them, you know, healed and delivered and saved and we all are a work in process. We all are on this journey, you know. And we have to stay in this book right here. We have to stay in this book because I'm telling you, the enemy, woo, if you leave that door cracked, you'll have all types of thoughts coming in. You'll have all types of thoughts coming in and you things will just start to fester. When things aren't confessed to the Lord or you, you know, getting a journal and writing things down and your thoughts or you not talking to someone about your problems like a, a therapist or a counselor, you know, things. I mean, somebody said the littlest thing to you and you might blow up. <laughs> And sometimes, you guys, I struggle with this. And your girl is still in therapy. <laughs> you know, so this is a journey, you know. And someone else's journey may not look like yours. So what I'm learning is, is that we also have to give people a lot of grace, have a lot of patience. And another scripture is that we should love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And I was just observing some things, you know, just this morning I was having a conversation with one of my friends, or I could just say someone that I know that I used to work, you know, with. Um, and we were just saying like, you know, you expect for people, and there we go, our expectations is what's messing us up. <laughs> It's our expectations. Sometimes we set our expectations way too high for people. Thank you, Lord. We set our expectations way too high for people. And that's what messes us up a lot of time. So I think we got to lower our expectations, you know, and not expect people to. And it, to me, I think that's kind of sad that we can't expect people to do what's right. But I guess we all are still growing in different areas. You know, people like to say, I'm woke. I stay woke. I'm going to tell you right now, you ain't woke until you get up in this Bible. When you get up in this Bible, that's when your eyes begin to open up. If you're not reading this word, you're not really woke. You're not really woke. And sometimes... um. Hopefully, you ain't straddling the fence, dibbling, dabbling, because that'll cloud your vision. So, yeah.
Don't set your expectations too high for others. You know, because that's when we end up getting disappointed because people let us down. And just from living life, I know that people are going to disappoint you, whether it's um, intentional or unintentional. We're going to be disappointed, you know, if you keep living this life. People are going to do or say things to you that you might not like, you know. And it just shows me that everything does not need a response. You know, you don't always have to respond to things. And I even teach that to my, you know, my oldest daughter. You know, you don't always have to respond to things. You can ignore it and just, you know, tell the person how you feel. Either they can accept it or may not, but know who you are. And what you're going to tolerate and what you're going to allow and what you're going to continue to put up with. But going back to Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, you know, trust in the Lord. Stop leaning to your own understanding because that's what I kept doing. I kept falling back. I kept falling back saying, Lord, but I'm still leaning on my own understanding. I want this person to move and operate like I think they should move and operate. But that's not... That's still leaning on your own understanding. You know, you got to trust God in this process, you know. So, in all of your ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. So, hide God's word in your heart by continuously renewing your mind so you can get it in your spirit. And that way the Holy Spirit will bring it back to your remembrance and that way, when you need it, it will come right up. Take your thoughts captive unto the obedience of Christ Jesus. And one way I do that is if a bad thought comes into my head, I say, Lord, help me to take this thought captive unto the obedience of Christ Jesus. Anything that tries to exalt itself up over the knowledge of God, Lord, cast it out. You know, his ways are not our ways. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts. So I hope this helps. This is Bear Talks with Janika. Thanks for tuning in and listening to what I have to say. I believe that we all can bring value to this world. I believe that we all can change the world just by taking time out, just by listening to what each other has to say. You know, sometimes people may not think you have much to say. I know sometimes I think that I don't have a lot to say, but I think that... Or I believe that I can share something. So thanks again for just tuning in and watching. All right, till the next video. Bye.